To make this adorable little octopus keychain, you're going to need some safety eyes between 12 to 16 millimeter, little swivel hook chain I got off Amazon. I'm using my Fisker scissors and a stitch marker, and I have a Clover 6.5 millimeter hook or a K if you use American size, and then a darning needle, and I'm using homespun yarn. And everything I'm doing today is in US terms. The stitches you'll need to know are single crochet. For the feet, you'll need to know how to do single, double, half double, and I'll show you how to do that. You're gonna need to know how to do an increase and decrease as well, pretty easy. So let's go ahead and get started, and at the end, I'll also show you where you can find how to do the little turtle. First thing you wanna do is make a magic circle. Grab the yarn end, place it between your finger and your thumb, wrap it around two fingers, and make an X on the top of your two fingers. Grab the hook, place it underneath the front part of the X closest to you, and then on top, and grab that part of the X towards you, and when you bring it towards you, you're gonna rotate your hook towards you, so now you have this loop. And then reach on over and grab the yarn on the top part, pull it through that loop you just made. Now tighten it by just pulling gently, and there you have your magic circle. So you're gonna have your end here, which at the end of your magic circle, if you're done crocheting into it, you'll pull on this end to close the circle tighter. So if you pull on it now, it makes your circle a little bit smaller. But leave some room there because you're going to do eight single crows into the magic circle. And so what that means is grab your yarn, wrap it around your finger, and on top of your first finger like this, I like to use my thumb and my middle finger to hold the magic circle. And to crochet into it, we're gonna do eight single crochets into the magic circle. You place your hook inside of the circle and grab that yarn, pull it through. So you should have two loops now on your hook and yarn over and now you have your first single crochet. And that, if that's difficult for you to see because homespun is a difficult yarn to use and to see the stitches, go ahead and grab your stitch marker and place the stitch marker into that first single crochet so you know where you started from. And that's your first stitch. Now you're gonna do that seven more times. So place your hook into the circle, yarn over, pull it through the circle. Now you have two loops. Yarn over one more time and pull through the two or the two loops on your hook. And then that's two. And here's three. Yarn over, pull through. There's your third stitch. Place your hook inside the circle. Pull the yarn through, yarn over. There's four. And see, I like to start pulling the circle a little bit closed because I know I have four more stitches. Pull it through, yarn over, and there's five, six, seven, and your last stitch, eight. If your yarn end's getting short, you just have to grab it and pull a little bit. But now that we're at the end and we have eight stitches to close your circle, you just pull on the end so it tightens it up like that. And you can see how the circle is now getting shut and you can't see any sort of hole anymore. So now look where you placed your stitch marker and that's where you're gonna start doing increases. So for round number two, move your marker, put two single crochets into this stitch here. So let me show you how difficult homespun yarn is to see stitches. So this is really more, if you're using homespun, I recommend it for advanced people because it's really hard to see a stitch. There's one and two. And I know when I was a beginner, it was hard for me to identify what a stitch looked like. So you can imagine how difficult homespun is if you're a beginner. Three, four. We're gonna do two stitches in every single stitch across. And again, if you didn't mark your first one, I would. It makes it easier. So we did four, two, three, and four. So that's your first stitch you started with. Place the marker. And you're gonna do continue to increase all the way around for a total of 16 single crochets. And you could count and then you wouldn't need a stitch marker, uh, but sometimes it's easier in case you get distracted like where you're talking and you can't keep very good count to go ahead and place a marker so you don't forget where you started just in case you do lose count. And that has happened to me many times 
it's kind of hard to go back and find your place when you're working in the round in a spiral because it's not obvious where the start is it's possible it's just a little harder sometimes i just start over if i'm near the beginning of a project and i lose count okay so we've done two in each stitch around now we're going to do remove your marker do one single crochet place your marker and then after your single crochet in that next stitch in the next stitch you will do an increase into here so that's two single crochets into that stitch there so that's going to come to a total of 24 single crochets and I know I didn't mention it in the beginning but we are working on the shell for I'm sorry we're working on the body here and it's going to be a no sew octopus six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one and twenty two and then your final two in that last stitch twenty three twenty four all right so now you should have twenty four total stitches remove your marker next round you will do single crochet in each stitch all the way around for four total rounds so rounds four through seven is a single crochet of a total of 24 single crochets for each round so it's pretty easy and i will meet you when you get to the end of your seventh round you just continue doing single crochet all the round all the way around and that's basically going to build the body up to its height completed four rounds of single crochet all the way around round eight single crochet place marker decrease to do an invisible decrease put your hook into that stitch yarn over and pull through put your hook into the next stitch yarn over and pull through three loops on the hook yarn over and pull through three loops and that's a decrease so again you'll do a single crochet into the next stitch and then you'll do an invisible decrease place your hook through that stitch yarn over and pull through place your hook into the next stitch yarn over and pull through three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through the three loops single crochet and then a decrease continue that all the way around this round and that'll finish off round eight and after this round get your safety eyes ready because that's what we'll do next you should end up with a total of 16 single crochets next locate rounds four and five and if you don't know where that is count four rows down to do that just look at where the top is so there's first round second third fourth and fifth so between four and five you'll place your eye and about three to four stitches apart one two three and to here is where you'll place your second eye it's up to you what you like how far apart you want them to be that's where i put mine so kind of turn it inside out there and insert the backing We'll just insert it like this press down now if your safety eyes are really hard to push down right here and i bought this tool off amazon i'll link it but it is really helpful for saving your fingers if it's hard for you to push down on those safety backings now go ahead and turn your octopus back right side out i've already removed the marker from the next stitch what you'll do next is do front loop only to locate the front loop here i have the entire stitch which has both your front loop and your back loop so you can see it's consisting of two different loops the front loop is the one closest to you the back loop is the one farthest from you so only using that front loop so here you can see i'm kind of splitting the stitch in half you're only using the front loop and you're going to do a normal single crochet as you would 
homespun's a little difficult. It splits easily. For round nine, you're going to work only in the front loop only. So the next stitch you will slip stitch into, mark it, again work in the front loop only, into this front loop you will do single crochet, half double crochet into the same stitch, double crochet, half double crochet, and I'm going to show you how to do this in the next stitch. Don't worry, I just want to show you what I'm doing and then a single crochet. So we're going to do that eight times. So let's show you how to do that slowly. So slip stitch into the next single crochet from the previous round. And to this next front loop, you will do single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, half double crochet, and a single crochet. Five different stitches into that one, one stitch. And that what that's do is creating the little leg from the octopus. So do your normal single crochet. To do a half double crochet, you will yarn over first, and then place your hook into that loop. Yarn over and pull through. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. And that's a half double crochet double crochet, yarn over first, place your hook into that stitch, yarn over, and pull through. You'll have three loops just like you did in half double crochet. Yarn over, pull through only two loops. You'll have two loops left on your hook and yarn over and pull through those two loops on the hook and that's your double crochet. Now we're going to do another half double crochet. Yarn over first, put your hook in the loop, yarn over and pull through. Now you have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops and that's your half double crochet. And then do a single crochet into that same stitch and that finishes off leg number two. Into the next stitch, slip stitch, again we're using front loop only. Into the next stitch, let's do our leg again. Single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet. And if you need a slower version again, I would just rewind and look back at how I did the previous leg. Half double crochet and single crochet. So do that for a total of eight legs. I just use a little length of yarn and tie it through here and tie it back through the bottom. The turtle is done in the exact same way for the shell as I did the octopus. The only difference is I also make the base and in the base I attach the head which is also crocheted separately and I crochet the feet and the tail as I'm crocheting it onto the shell making it a pretty easy project as easy maybe a little more than the octopus but is fairly easy as the octopus just add the keychain to the top and they make great market items I sell them about five dollars a piece maybe six dollars depending and they're pretty cute and well loved by children and they love keychains to put on their bags or backpacks best of luck